welcome back everyone to the video series dedicated show on MTV that is also known as the Bowlegged Baddie. That's right, we're talking about The Challenge Season 38 Ride or Dies Episode 4. And let's start off where last episode left off, and that was Horatio and Olivia winning against Johnny and Raven, and as they are exiting the season, Darrell and Veronica are entering the season, and they join the game, they go back to the house, and Tommy and Annalise try to do some damage control with Olivia, and Olivia says it's too little too late, and we even get a confessional from Devin saying the exact same thing. Tommy and Elise have put a giant target on their back coming into this week's episode. And then we move on to Horatio and Laurel. And Horatio is confiding in Laurel about how snaky Tommy and Annalise and this game can be. And Laurel is giving some support. She is giving him hugs, especially when he is shirtless. And we get this like flirting moment with both of them. However, nothing really comes from it. There is no making out. There is no kissing as we will see later on. But before then, let's talk about Amber. And Amber is seen as the leader of the rookies, at least that's what Chauncey says in his confessional, as we see Amber talking with Michelle, Norris, Olivia, and they're talking about how the underdogs never tend to stay together, and they need to. They need to stick together, they need to look out for each other, and we also hear that Amber is super excited that Darrell is in the game because out of all the vets, she trusts him the most, and Darrell and Veronica seem like they're not as tied with a lot of the vets or even some of the newer vets that are on this season, so... Maybe we could see Darrell and Amber maybe work together in this game. Amber got a ton more confessionals than she did the past two episodes, so maybe there's something starting to bloom here with Amber as Darrell is entering this game. Speaking of bloom, let's talk about the love that is blossoming all throughout this house as we see Fessel and Colleen in bed with each other, and then we move on to seeing Jordan slip into Tori's bottom bunk? And yes, I did mean the double entendre. And then we also see Nelson and Olivia share a bed with each other and keeping Michelle up till three in the morning. We talked about not seeing a lot of the drama and hookups from last episode. Well, we at least got some hookup scenes in this episode at least. But let's wrap all this up as we head down to meet up with TJ for this week's daily challenge called Hold On For Me and of course, it is a Heights Daily Challenge, 300 feet in the air, and they saved it just for Darrell. This is redemption for Darrell with what happened in All Stars 3 and what this Daily Challenge has everybody doing. One part of the pair is going to be holding on to a bar and holding on for as long as they can. And then when they're about to let go, they'll have their partners running at them full force to jump into them to give them enough momentum to grab a flag that is hanging behind them. The team that can hold on the longest while also grabbing their flag will win this daily challenge. If you do not get your flag, you are disqualified. And let me tell you, a lot of teams get disqualified. Again, this is a daily challenge that isn't that complex in rules or how it is set up but it is hard to execute when you don't have the right strategy. In the first heat, we have Casey and Kenny, Laurel and Jack, and Veronica and Darrell, and all of them DQ. The one funny thing is that Veronica, when she jumps, I mean, I knew she was not gonna make it, but the way she jumped, barely got Darrell's foot, and then flipped upside down. It reminded me of Tina in All Stars 3 when she was doing the swinging and she went completely bottoms up. Then in heat two, we have Jay and Michelle, Bananas and Ani, and Amber and Chauncey, and Chauncey is deathly afraid of heights, but him and Amber get so close at possibly getting this flag, but yet was unable to. Coming into heat three, we get a little bit of progress, and we get a little bit of strategy. We hear a confessional from Norris talking about how the couples aren't getting enough momentum, that all the women are the ones running and hitting into the men partners that are holding onto the bar, but it's not getting enough momentum to push them to the flag. So in her mind, she was like, the way to go about this is for the women to hang and then the men to jump on the women to then get enough momentum to get the flag. But she was gonna hold on to this information to herself instead of giving this strategy out in hopes that it would help Norris and Nelson win. However, in Heat 3, we get to see this strategy in motion as Jordan and Nanisa decide to swap places. Instead of Jordan holding onto the bar, 
Let's have Anissa hold on to the bar. Anissa does not hold on to this bar for very long, but it does not matter because Jordan is able to jump into Anissa's arms and grab the flag. He's the only one to be able to grab the flag in this heat and the previous two heats. Both Fessel Mariah and Tori and Devin are unable to grab the flag. So after heat three, Jordan and Nisa are primed to win. Heat four, we have Colleen and Kim, Tommy and Annalise, both of them DQ. Annalise and Tommy are super close, but Tommy forgets all about the objective of grabbing the flag. And he is just spreading out his arms, flying like an eagle, all the way back, and then they disqualify, and Colleen and Kim try to do a swing technique that just does not work as Colleen misses Kim completely and gets kicked in the head. We're down to the final heat, the final two pairs. We have Nelson and Reese versus Olivia and Horacio. We get to finally see this strategy in motion for Nerese and Nelson, and it completely works out for them. Nerese is able to hold onto the bar longer than Anissa was able to hold onto the bar, and Nelson was able to get enough momentum to grab the flag, and Horacio and Olivia are unable to grab their flag, so they are DQ'd, making Nelson and Nerese the winner. That's right, Nelson's Daily Challenge Drought of 54 consecutive Daily Challenge losses has been broken. Nelson has won a daily challenge. He has won into power despite mentioning early on in this episode that he did not want to win to then put a target on his back. But here he is winning and he has to be happy as now he has all the power. Him and Nerese have all the power. And going back to the challenge house, we learn that Nelson and Nerese aren't necessarily on the same page. Nerese wants to put up two vet pairs and Nelson who is looking at the house, thinks that's not a great idea. That's not good for our game in the long run, as well as in the long run of the challenge itself. You gotta build up some relationships, you gotta build up some rapport, so if you come back for later seasons, this decision won't bite you in the butt. So Norris and Nelson are gonna have to talk things over. We go to the bar scene where Tommy and Annalise are nervous. They just had a hand in getting rid of Johnny and Raven. Nerese's challenge BF for the first couple of weeks was eliminated because Tommy and Annalise sent in Horacio and Olivia in against them. So they're worried that they're gonna get nominated and possibly get a one-way ticket directly into the elimination. They do not want that to happen. Speaking of Olivia and Horacio, they are talking to their friends of Nelson and Nerese, and Nelson is like, look, it." Feels like I'm gonna have to nominate y'all. I don't want to do it, but after the past couple of weeks, you were sent in again and again by two vet pairs, and I don't wanna get a big old target on our backs. This is when Olivia comes up with a plan for Nelson and Reese to be able to nominate Olivia and Horacio, but keep them safe at the same time. She suggests, what if you nominate us alongside two teams that would most likely have our backs in the draw that if either one of them picked the safe dagger, that they would keep us safe. Nelson and Reese are thinking about it and they all come up with a plan that they will nominate Tommy and Annalise and send them directly into the elimination. They would also nominate Colleen and Kim, who is very much on the rookie side, that if rookies are nominated, they'll keep them safe. And if they nominate Darrell and Veronica, who came late to the game, that is an easy alibi to just put them up, as well as have them make a deal with Olivia and Horacio to keep them safe if they pulled the safe dagger and vice versa, that Olivia and Horacio, if they pulled the safe dagger, they would keep Darrell and Veronica safe. Now I know what you might be thinking. This sounds very similar to what happened last week where Tommy and Annalise made two deals with two separate teams and had to backstab one of them. But I would say this is different because Norris and Nelson actually make the deal with Colleen and Kim instead of Olivia and Horacio making the deal with them as well. To where they don't necessarily have to backstab Colleen and Kim, they just kept their word to Darrell and Veronica. I guess what we could say is that there was a rookie rookie kind of silent agreement happening where they knew Colleen and Kim would always want to keep a rookie rookie team safe down in the elimination floor. Hence why they decided to put in Darrell and Veronica. They would easily say their names, 
having no ties to them whatsoever. We get to the interrogation where Nelson tells Tommy and Annalise, good luck down at the elimination, basically telling them that you're definitely going into the elimination. Olivia and Horacio come in, they're joking around with them. Nelson and Norris make the deal with Colleen and Kim that if they were to pull the safe dagger that they would save Olivia and Horacio, they shake on it. And then we move on to Darrell and Veronica and Norris and Nelson tell them to go talk to Olivia and Horacio before going off to the elimination and make a deal to save each other if either one were to pull the safe dagger. So far, this plan seems foolproof, but this is the challenge and we've seen a ton of plans go up in smoke at the very last minute. We go to the zone to meet up with TJ for this week's elimination. TJ calls all four pairs to meet him on the zone floor where Nelson and Reese nominate Tommy and Annalise to go directly into the elimination. Darrell and Veronica pull the first dagger and it is blank. Olivia and Horacio pull the second dagger and they are safe and they keep their word to Darrell and Veronica to save them, sending Colleen and Kim into the elimination against Tommy and Annalise. Now, Olivia and Kim feel kind of blindsided by this. However, in the confessionals, Olivia says that they don't really talk much game with Colleen and Kim. And so they may have this like rookie rookie understanding, but they never really have talked game or made a deal with them. But that's all moot as we move to this week's elimination game called Flipping Wasted, where one partner, is gonna be on a board hanging over a mud puddle. And what their teammate is gonna have to do is hoist them up to bring the board close enough to a puzzle screen where they're gonna have to turn the puzzle pieces to make one complete picture. The pair that can solve the puzzle first wins this elimination, stays in the game, and the other team is eliminated from the season. And this elimination was a complete blowout as Kim was able to easily hoist Colleen up to the puzzle and Colleen was fidgeting with the puzzle. She had a couple of checks. She was kind of confused by the puzzle. Looking at the puzzle, it was kind of confusing. However, Tommy and Annalise could not even touch the puzzle, couldn't start the puzzle because Tommy was unable to hoist Annalise up high enough to even have a chance in this elimination. It was tough. It was tough to watch at some points because Tommy was trying his hardest. He was getting help from the crowd. He was getting help from Kim, who was going against him in this elimination. Tommy just could not find his grip. He could not find the strength. He could not find his footing to pull the rope and to get Annalise up close enough to even turn a dial for one puzzle piece. Annalise was down there like getting dipped like an Oreo cookie in milk in this mud puddle. It was a complete blowout. Colleen and Kim win this handedly as Annalise and Tommy are mud soaked and are heading off eliminated from the game. And this is when TJ then teases everybody saying, I, you know what, I feel kind of friendly tonight. And everybody's like, no, there's no way you're bringing in a fourth pair. There's no way. And that's when TJ says, you know what, I got nothing for you. You can go back to the challenge house and everybody breathes a sigh of relief. However, people then realize that numbers are gonna start dwindling pretty quickly. I mean, there's only about 12 pairs left and you're gonna have to nominate four people every single week, and one person's gonna be in charge? I mean, numbers are going to start going quickly. But that is it for this week's review and recap of The Challenge, season 38, Ride or Dies, episode four. What'd you think about this episode? Let me know down in the comment section below. What'd you think about the Daily Challenge? What'd you think about Nelly T getting his first Daily Challenge win in years since Vendetta's? like episode seven or eight. What'd you think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, what'd you think about him being in power? What'd you think about him and Norris's decision, Olivia's strategy to keep them safe down in the elimination arena, the zone? And what'd you think about this elimination game where Colleen and Kim won pretty handedly? And would you like to see Tommy and Annalise back on the challenge? Let me know anything and everything down in the comment section below. I wanna give a special shout out, thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash Angel Cake Vids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more Challenge 38 content, more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.